Camille Hall here with On Location Memphis News to give you the local and national headlines of what's breaking in the entertainment industry today. According to The Verge, the tangled journey of the streaming rights for the Harry Potter films just got even more confusing, as Peacock has announced that it'll be offering the series starting in October. The Potter films are currently streaming on HBO Max, but are set to leave the service on October 25th. When Harry Potter arrives on Peacock, it'll be available for at least a month, according to Vulture, before heading to NBC Universal's linear broadcast and cable TV channels and then returning back to Peacock again in 2021. However, it sounds like that, too, will be a temporary run for only a few months. If you're confused why NBC Universal streaming service is about to be the home of one of Warner Brothers' biggest franchises, it's because in 2016, Warner Brothers signed the TV rights to the series over to NBC Universal in a deal reportedly worth as much as $250 million. A last-minute deal between the two companies in May allowed HBO Max to debut with the Harry Potter films for its first three months, but now NBC Universal is taking custody of the films once again. The Harry Potter films aren't the only ones. Peacock is also set to get Batman Begins and The Dark Knight in the future, two key Warner Brothers titles that are a part of the DC Comics draw for HBO Max. All this may seem weird from the outside, after all, why shouldn't Warner Brothers just be able to air its own content? But it's been par for the course for the film industry for years. It's the rise of larger, company-owned streaming services that has started to warp our expectations and giving companies like Warner Brothers, Universal, or Disney the incentive to get the rights for their content back. It's not a problem unique to HBO Max or Peacock. Disney has had issues wrangling back some of the Marvel and Star Wars films that it had licensed out to companies like Stars and Netflix and fighting over big franchises like Seinfeld, Friends, and The Office has only emphasized how confusing streaming rights deals are going to continue to be for the foreseeable future.